Controversy and questions surrounding a penned out plan to toll nine interstate bridges all across the state. Several of those bridges are here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Residents of several communities in Luzerne County say if the tolling plan moves forward, it would jeopardize public safety and impact quality of life. 2822 Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalshek joins us live from the control center with more. Andy? Well, good afternoon, Paula and Nick. The concerns residents and officials have is that during and after construction on these bridges, that traffic, namely big truck traffic, will detour through Whitehaven and Eastside Borough. They say it's a tragedy in the making. Safety is my huge concern. Louis Issa is president of the Eastside Borough Council. He also lives along Route 940, which is used as a detour when problems occur on nearby Interstate 80. We have children at play. Um, if you start getting all this traffic through here, every time there's been a problem on the bridge, we couldn't even get out of our driveways along 940 here. The traffic would be so heavy. PennDOT unveiled the Interstate Bridge Tolling Plan last year, saying the tolls were needed to fund an $8.1 billion funding gap for bridge repairs and replacement. Commonwealth Court put the plan on hold for now after several communities filed the lawsuit, arguing that PennDOT did not have the legal authority to implement the plan. Our main concerns are the road is deteriorated, our drainage pipes are already crushed, they're probably 40 or 50 years old here. We don't have the money as a small borough to be able to do all those kind of repairs to this road. White Haven residents know all too well what heavy traffic can do. You can see grinding marks on Route 940 where trucks have bottomed out in the borough and many have been stranded. White Haven Police Chief Tom Zoak tells Eyewitness News. It's going to just devastate our uh, police force because we're going to constantly have to have an officer in that area, which means all the other communities we protect, Penn Lake, Denison Township, Foster Township, are going to see a major reduction in patrols. State Senator Johnny Dechak says PennDOT and lawmakers must come up with a plan that addresses those safety and financial concerns. They're talking about 70 to 80 potentially vehicles that would be diverted because of the toll plan to these smaller communities. Their, their infrastructure can't bear it. The communities become unsafe. And once again, the interstate bridge toll plan is temporarily on hold. Now, Commonwealth Court is expected to have a hearing on whether the plan can move forward in several weeks. PennDOT officials say they welcome discussions with lawmakers to come up with an alternative funding for road and bridge repairs. Nick and Paula. Thanks, Andy.